Hi, welcome to another discipling video. As disciples, there are many resources that God has given to us in order that we may become more like Jesus. He has given us himself in the form of the Holy Spirit to indwell us and to pour out of us like streams of living water. He has given us baptism to allow us to follow his example. He has given us prayer so that we can be in constant contact with him. Now I want to talk to you about the words he has given us uh, as revealed in the Bible. I often tell people the story about how I was banned from my high school library. You see, as a, a senior studying for our HSC, we were allowed to go into the library and utilise a special area for quiet study or discussion. But I blew it, and it was all because of this book. You see, I, I came into the library, sat with the other seniors, and then said, Psst, guys, do you want to see my book? Why would we want to look at your book, seers? Because, I said, it's the most banned book in the world. In fact, in, in some countries, if they find you with this book, it could mean the death sentence. There are some people who will do anything to stop us reading this book. And you know what? I've got one with pictures. It, it was an all boys school and I had their attention. It's also the bestseller. In fact, according to the Guinness's Book of World Records, it is the best selling book of all time, selling over 6 billion copies. Which isn't surprising when you consider that it was the first book ever to be printed on the very first printing press in the West. So show us the book, they said. But I've also got to tell you, it is the most translated book in the world, being translated into over 600 languages. It's also the most quoted book in history. Yes, even Shakespeare quotes this book. Oh, I bet it's religious, isn't it, Sears? Oh, yes, I said. It has religion in there and also stories of genocide. Adultery, incest, rape, murder, fraud, wars, double crosses, massacres, executions, almost every bad thing you can think of is in, the, is in its pages. It's literally dripping with blood. I suppose I'm cheating a bit because it's actually not one book. It's 66 books bound into one and written over a period of over a thousand years. And then I put it on the table my little copy of the Bible. And then I found out firsthand uh, that it was also the most controversial book, for even in high school, it seemed everyone had an opinion on it, even those who had never opened its pages. Oh, it's full of contradictions. It's, it's full of fairy tales. It's been corrupted. It's changed my life. The discussion became a bit heated, and soon the librarian came around and said, Shh! Why are you boys making so much noise? Ah, oh, Sears has brought in a banned book, said one of my friends. Hand me over the magazine, she said. <laughs> but I handed her my Bible. You do know we have a number of copies in the library, don't you, Sears? She asked. Yeah, yeah, I said. And I'm surprised that they're not always out on loan. Maybe, miss, I said. It's because it's the scariest book in the world. Because it certainly scared the hell out of me. She rolled her eyes. It became my habit whenever I came into the library after that to place my Bible on the study table. It seemed that at some stage, someone would make a comment and a discussion would ensue. The problem was the discussions frequently got loud and the library teacher would burst in and tell us to shh. Ultimately, she took me aside and, and told me that I was causing too much of a disruption and that she was banning me from the library. I understand that I was the only guy ever to have been banned from the library in his HSC year at the Sydney Technical High School. Yes, now this book, it's controversial, but it's also influential. Some would say the most influential book in history. Abraham Lincoln was probably the most influential president of the United States, and he said this, I believe the Bible is the best gift God has ever given to man. All the good from the Saviour of the world is communicated to us through this book. In Europe, 
There is no doubt that Napoleon was a man of incredible influence. And he said, the Bible is no mere book, but a living creature with a power that conquers all that oppose it. Gandhi was no doubt the most influential man in the history of India. And he said, you Christians look after a document containing enough dynamite to blow all civilization to pieces, turn the world upside down and bring peace to a battle-torn planet. But you treat it as though it's nothing more than a piece of literature. Do you realize what a gift we have in the Bible now? Of course, this is the spiel that I give my non-Christian friends as to why they should read the Bible. But in the following videos, let me tell you why we as disciples need to read this book. Over the next few days, let's see how the Bible can help us be disciples. Have you had any discussions about the Bible with your friends? Tell me about it in the comments below, as well as any prayer requests you have. And I'll, I'll see you in the next video. God bless. And oh, read the Bible.